Hello guys, you're yeah, welcome back to Photography. Alright, so have you ever wondered why every single time you upload your images on your social media handles, it keeps dropping down in textures and stills? Have you ever wondered how professional retouchers or photographers achieve high-end skin textures whenever they upload their images on social media handles? Of course, you know by now that what that whenever you upload your image on IG or Facebook or any other social media handle that is a drop in pixel that the social media itself has an automated machine that drops the details down for you. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can get through that, how you can amazingly pass through that and you will still retain your textures and have your details intact in your image and nothing is going to happen to it. So in this video, that's what we're going to be looking at. That's all we're going to be looking at how to create textures in your images that even when you upload it on your social media handles, the quality is still the same. It's not hard. And the amazing part of it is that we're going to be giving out the action we used for recording these videos to you for free. All you need to do is just watch till the end to get the password and we'll have the action working for you. Even if you do not have time to, you know, grasp all the things we're going to be doing. The action is going to work for you and it's going to be fully, fully customizable. So in this video, we're going to be doing it and the action will be there for you to get for free. All right, so let's jump straight into Photoshop as we begin. So this is the image we're going to be using. So the first thing you need to do is to look at your image and try to understand how the lightning is flowing. So looking at this image, you can, you can agree with me that the lightning of this image is coming from the top of the head down towards the cheek. If you look at the, the positioning of the catch light, you're going to notice that the light is coming from the up and there's a reflector down there to fill up the shadows. Look at the lips. You're going to see where the highlights are falling. So it's going to give you a clue of how the light is flowing towards the image. So have this in mind that our light is flowing from up to down, up to down. Okay, so let's get started and create a new Create a blank layer, simple, create a blank layer, press shift, shift backspace to load up your fill options and make sure you select 50% gray over here, 50% gray and press OK. So this is the first step. The second step is to change the blend mode to overlay because overlay reveals everything that is, that is either darker or brighter than 50% gray. Then you, go, you are going to right click on the empty layer. And you're going to change it to a smart object so that you can come back later and change values if you do not get what you want. So the next thing we'll do is that we'll go to our filter, go to our uh, filter gallery over here, press OK. So make sure you locate your textures and your texturizer. So we'll zoom in on the image. We'll zoom in on the image. So look at the settings we'll have here. Keep your settings the same way. Keep your settings the same way. The only place we need to make changes is the light over here. So our light is flowing from top to cheek. That is top down, top down. So we'll just pick, we'll just pick the, the light ratio here or the light setting here that feels or looks like the light we are using in our own image. So go for this is the left. So left means that the light is coming from the left hand side. Top left means it's coming from the top left side of the image. Top means that coming from directly over the head, and that's what we're looking for. Top right means it's coming from the top right part of the image. Right means the same thing, bottom right, just the same way it's going now. So we're going to pick our top. So it means the light coming from the top. And when you pick that, this is where you can now start changing your values to make to make it look realistic. Make it look realistic. And if there's any setting we did that doesn't suit your own image, of course, you can come back later and change it. That is why we are using a smart object. So I'm just going to move things around. I see the one that looks so good. So let me press OK and show you the look of this in our image. So looking at the movement of the light, you are going to notice that this is not the perfect setting that will work for this image. So we'll go to our filter gallery again. Yeah, by press that one, we we'll converted to uh that's what we converted to smart object. So after doing that, go back to your lightning and let's check. Let's check top left. 
and see what it looks like on our image. Of course, we will need to change the values as well so that it looks very realistic to what we are doing. So that it looks realistic to what we are doing like that. Just a little text shot. Make it just like that. I mean, let's see what this looks like. Nice, beautiful. I like the way it's looking. See the way it's looking already. But after, but after. So you can decide to increase the value a little more. You make it very strong. So we'll just go to the scale, scale it up a little more, just like that. Press OK. Nice. So the next thing I want to add is my my uh my high pass. Go to high pass. Yeah, nice. So try to increase your high pass just a little to make things look a little more realistic. So if you take it way higher, it's going to start to create things down for me. Or you can try any one you want. I think I like it at 110. So I'm going to press OK. Go to press okay so this is the image before and after before and after look at the way that the whole texture is already coming out as you mean the texture of the skin look at it the pores and holes and all of that so looking at the whole uh texture stuff it's bouncing all over the image it doesn't have direction and we cannot want it all over the image it has to stay on the skin not check the eyes the eyebrow the eyelashes it has to stay on the skin so which means we need to mask it directly on the skin we need to mask it directly on the skin and do that what you need to do is that you need to excuse me that you need to duplicate your background layer you can deactivate this for now then create a mask for it go to your select go to color it and make sure your skin tone is selected you can try to increase the fuzziness or leave it the way it came out originally so but i think the skin tone is not picking up the shadows perfectly so i'm going to just try to use it to increase the fuzziness a little and press ok now we can copy the mask and replace it here press open it up so it's targeting just the skin tones right now so it's no longer on the hairs and all of that look at it beautiful so if you feel it's too it's too much for you you can as well introduce your gassan blow a tiny bit like that just a tiny bit maybe 0.5 0.5 0 0.5 press ok if you feel it's not strong enough you can duplicate it to make it stronger and reduce the opacity of this one you can even as well try other blend modes to see other blend modes and see what they are going to give you in result maybe you get a better one i think i love what the red light is doing i love what the red light is doing even way more than what overlay did for me so i'm going to stick with the red light so let me take you and show you before and after okay so this is before this is after this is before this is after look at the way the skin textures so 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 realistic looking like seem great so whenever you upload your images on ig make sure you run this action on your image every single time you finish your retouches and of course drop down the opacity not to need too much and you will have a realistic skin texture on your images Thank you for watching this amazing video. Do make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and ring the bell to get notified every single time we drop a new video. Don't forget that action is for free. So all you need to do is watch till this point and get your password. Thank you.